what's happening. Religious clergy and much more are answering and are replying to Nubu as well as his running mate Shatima with regards to the Muslim Muslim ticket and how they disgracefully uh, brought in some imposters, I must say, to act as religious clergy because up till now, apart from one who identified himself as the Love World Muslim Christian Church, okay, he said he was there to show solidarity that the church and the mosque can be one and that uh, people should not say uh, they will not support Tinubu and what have you. Apart from that one, nobody knows the others. Yes. And so Pastor Paul Enechi is one of the clergy who has responded, you know, to the to the atrocity of what is going on now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details as he responds to those who said Tinubu do not need Christian votes to become president of Nigeria. The Muslim Muslim tickets, Christians control 20 states. Paul Enechi makes it known. The senior pastor, Dominant Nance International Gospel Church, Dr. Paul Enechi, has responded to the Tinubu Shatima's joint presidential ticket of Muslim Muslim running mates, informing the jail that Christians control 20 out of the 36 states in the country. He said Christians do not form a minority in the north or even in nigeria as a whole we must know by the northern blog politician and power they know the truth pastor paul Eneche made a disclosure on thursday in joss when he arrived for a three days crusade with the team the lord reign it so with the population of christians in nigeria no christian is good enough for the other side that rule for seven years and a half going to eight years, it should be a unanimous decision and that all political parties should pick their candidate from the South or Christians since the outgoing president is a Muslim. In this season, it will be known that we cannot be taken for granted. Enough is enough, he said. Recall that the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate in the 2023 general election, Bola Hamed Tinubu, last Wednesday, officially unveiled the former governor of Bono State, Kashim Shatima, as his running mate. However, while given a background on how he started his ministry, he recalled that his Christian journey began in Jos as well as his early family life, noting that God called him in Jos. My calling was at Gina Rappel in Bashiki Ladin, local government area of Plateau State, where I went to pray, and that was where it all began. God gave me the direction for the ministry here in Plateau, and if time permits, I will visit the place and other places before I leave, he said. He, the excited clergy who described Plateau as his home said, Just is like Bethel for his family. I got married to my wife and gave birth to our first child in Jos. Eneche stated that his ministry, his mission to Plateau was to pray for the liberation of the state from the devilish grip. We will pray for the dismantling of the principalities in the terrain and for every form of darkness responsible for the destruction called violence. By the authority of the Lord, we will destroy the devil and establish the dominion and rulership of Jesus Christ over the territory, he said. Doc Dr. Paul Enichi is the founder and senior pastor of the Dominance Inter International Gospel Center worldwide with headquarters in Abuja, the federal capital territory in Nigeria. His ministry having hundreds of thousands of worshippers across the world. Well, when I don't hear Ramo, even Pastor Paul Enechi says, you want to tell me that in the whole of the north, the whole of the north, there is nobody, not one person who can fit to become Tinubu's running mate in the whole of the north. It, it does it make sense? You think about it now. Give me an answer. Does it make sense? Okay. It does it make sense? And so it it is sad that these things are happening. It is sad because they they are not paying attention to the people. Yeah, they are not paying attention. They are taking the people for granted. To be quite candid, they are telling the people, "I don't care about you. You don't have a voice. I don't care about you." 
That's what you're inevitably saying. That's what you're doing. That's what you're trying to portray. And the truth of the matter is you don't have that liberty to do that. That thing you're trying to do, that, that position you're trying to take, is totally uncalled for. And unless we begin to all, with one accord, begin to reevaluate and rewrite some of these stories, we might be shocked and surprised at how some of these things will, will go on carrying forward. So we need to actually be very, very wise, okay? And, be pos and we must be positioned in such a way that we don't allow, okay, this very set of people destroy the very fabric of what makes us a people. How can some people just take it upon themselves and say others are not important, they don't stand a chance, and they just do whatever they are doing, and they feel it is all right, and, you know, to a large extent, it feels like they are getting away with it. We, we can't allow that. We possibly cannot allow that, you know. So these are some of the things that are going on, and why Nigerians and every one of us must do that, which is absolutely compulsory rights to ensure that at the end of the day, Okay, we, we get the truth and do not allow anyone, okay, to distract us from what is absolutely correct as a people. So right about now, the truth of the matter remains is that, you know, what we need to do, we need to ensure, okay, that we, that we stand up for what is right and every one of us get our PVCs. We must say to them, no, you, you can't, de you can't, you can't, de you can't derail or disdain or something that you can get away with it. You can't do that. Okay? You can't do that. You can't uh, wake up one morning and just feel that it's okay. You can do whatever you want to do. And uh, you think it's all right and you just get away with it. No more. The days of behaving in that way and in that manner are far gone. And so it is important that everybody begins to put things in order so that at the end of the day we are better people and we are making that right decision for every one of us okay and we're making that right decision for every one of us it is about time we begin to call a spade a spade and we do that which you know we, we know we move us as a people as a nation forward the things that are happening and the things that are going on are clear indications of how far we have gone what we see to be truth and what we are you know, and we are, we, are, we are rising up to to say no more. Okay, leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.